Week three, stomp rockets. Braylon here is gonna show us how all the kids are gonna make a stomp rocket. Well, you guys are just, we're just making the rocket part of it. So go ahead and start rolling, Braylon. Um, we will have all sorts of construction paper and we will have pieces of oh, PVC pipes. And each kid can pick a color and they're just gonna roll it. So I will try to remember to have scissors at the table um, because they can make, these two rockets were rolled the long ways, Braylon's rolling it the short way here, and um, you know, maybe the short one flies further than the long one, or flies higher. There's going to be two rockets outside in the parking lot, one rocket's going to have a 45 degree launcher and the other one's going to be a 90 degree launcher. So the kids will have to work together. We just need tape to tape down the sides. And then for simplicity, we are skipping the rocket wings. The rocket will still fly without the wings. The whole idea of this experiment, I think, was to show how the air from this bottle when pushed on with their feet is gonna project the rocket off the launcher. Oops. So here on this step, after Braylon fixes his tape, the nose of the rocket is just gonna be folded over the top of the PVC pipe just a little bit. Kind of the same idea as the um, coin rollers, the coin holders that the cylinder coin things, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Okay, so Braylon folded over a couple and then two, three pieces of tape. Or more. Or more. So we just don't want the air to be able to escape from the top of the rocket. Okay, Amden, will you please grab a, this PVC pipe and put it on, put this bottle on it. So this is just a small example about how this is going to work. So this bottle is going to be on the ground like this out in the parking lot and the PVC pipe is like really long and there's going to be an angle at the bottom but for the sake of just showing you how this is going to work it's on the ground the children are going to stomp on it and the rocket is going to fly so Amden will you please attach one of your rockets That's yours. to it Sometimes it's a little tricky feeding it back on there, but they will go on. And the bottle, if you will please note, okay, Amden, show me this part right here. The PVC pipe does not need to go all the way in the bottle. Like, you know, maybe an inch or less there at the bottom. Okay, so Amden's gonna do the armpit mo model. Amden, please go ahead and show us. Ha ha! Okay. Oh, why did it not work? You were holding the rocket. You were holding your paper. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so we'll bring it up here a little bit. Well, put okay. it. You put it. This is a perfect time to show you. Okay, take the PVC pipe out. Hold the bottle. Amden's just going to blow air back in the bottle and makes it, uh, you know, back to a bottle. Okay, now he's going to not hold the rocket this time and fire it. Oh, I hear air coming out of the top. Yeah, let's use this one. Okay, what? Great one. Just blow it with your mouth. Okay, so when we're outside, they're going to fly really far. And there will be some rockets that have too much friction because they're too long. There may be some rockets that don't fly because there's um, air coming out of the top, but Suzanne and I threw a rocket together last week and it flew pretty far. It was really fun. Anyway, there'll be trial and errors. The kids can cut shorter rockets, make longer ones. Anyway, I hope you have fun experimenting next week.